This is a quick how-to uh, to become Santa Claus. Um, I've stepped out of the shower and uh, I've uh, got a little Paul Mitchell leave-in in my hair. I'm just going to comb through it and then uh, comb through my beard. Uh, everything's still very damp. I did slightly dry it off, but not. I use uh, from time to time a little bit of the Fruita Style Brilliant Shine. Just a couple sprays. Uh, a little bit tangler more than anything. And you see I don't use very much. Uh, comb it through again real quickly. Now I'm going to do my mustache and style it up. Um, I use a little bit of uh, the Got To Be Glued Invincible Gel, which is a clear gel, and then just a tiny dab of the actual almost Elmer's glue paste from the uh, got to be glued spiking gel and you can see I got just a couple little dabs I probably got too much on there just mix the two together with my finger and then rub it into my mustache now this is going to put too much for me too much styling into my stash but we'll be brushing, drying it, and then brushing it out. So it'll get back to being just as soft as it was before there was anything on it. But it should hold its style. Some people use a toothbrush. Um, I tend to, I'm going to wash it off my hand. I just use a fine tooth comb, comb it through a few times. Get the part I have. Styled up. And then just let it start drying on its own while I dry my hair. Let me get that part quite right today, but <clears throat> wash it out of my comb. Now I'm going to dry my hair. You probably don't need to see me do that, but I'll leave it in this video for a minute. twirly brush to uh, give it some lift and some style.
I said, it's a little humid today, so it's kind of hot in here. I'm going to now uh, dry my mustache, uh, turn down the heat, and uh, help set it. twirl and the cord doesn't get tangled. That's why I like this brand in particular. I think it's a patent of theirs. We'll see. So. just a little bit as I do it. I'm also pulling and it straightens it part of it. Sides aren't long enough yet to get a really good styling. Need about another inch. It's still filling in. I'm going to finish the two sides right below the ear, in front of the ear. I move down just a little bit, like this. Notice how the angle changes a bit. It's going along my chin line. Move up a little bit and keep twirling. I have a couple of cowlicks and in my beard and I work pretty hard to get them straight. It's starting to take shape.
You can see it doesn't take too long. A lot less than a curling iron, and then curling iron doesn't leave me with the same kind of soft effect. It's a little uh, harsh. came out pretty good. And uh, now I go back and finish blow drying my mustache. I'll brush through it so that it softens it back up. Spray. Uh, I use this uh, Salon Graphics shaping hairspray. Uh, my wife has got uh, allergies to anything that smells, and this is pretty good stuff and pretty cheap. I bought this at CVS. Um, I'm gonna hit the mustache a little bit just to set it, but you see, I don't twist the ends because I like that Sundown uh, Coca Cola kind of Santa look. And uh, on the beard, if you want a little extra shine, you can use uh, something like the fructose style sleek uh, finish. It's a argan oil. Um, it's very little, <laughs> goes a long way, uh, but it gives it a nice sheen and. Uh, I'm going to hit it with just a little spray now. And back of the hand just to put in any hairs that were out of place. A little just a touch more spray. I mean, that's very little, uh, and it'll soften up as the day goes. And that's it. Hope that helped, Dave.